Hey friend, my name is James. I'm one of the pastors here at Bayside and I'm really excited because this week at Bayside we kick off a brand new series called Keep the Faith. Now, I, I don't know about you, but that word in my life has brought up a series of emotions. Maybe that hits you today and you go, how do I keep something that I don't even know if I have? And what does the word faith even mean? Is it contextualized? I think you should join us on a weekend at Bayside as we discover what faith really is. But as I think of one of the famous passages of scripture, second half of the Bible, Hebrews chapter 11, verse one, it says this, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Confidence and not seeing are not two things that go together for me. My wife and I, we've been married over 10 years and we tend to be competitive uh, with each other and with other people. But one of the things we're competitive about is my wife is athlete and I am more mathlete. And so tends to, in our marriage, anytime there's something that comes up, whether it's uh, pickleball or tennis or basketball, she's always been better. But there was this one moment in time where we were on Smith Lake in Alabama and our friends took us out on the lake. We were gonna go wake surfing. My wife gets out there, she's got the, the board ready. She's leaned back in the water and they told her something important. They said, all you have to do is lean back and trust the rope. You got to trust the rope and the boat will do the work. But my wife, she's an athlete. And so she kept trying to muscle up. And I'm telling you, she would muscle up. She would hit the water and she drank half of Smith Lake that day out in the water. She never got up and rode it. Now, somebody who's born mathlete, I had to put all my trust in it. I knew I had no confidence in my athletic ability. So I went out after her and I hope, babe, I hope you're watching this right now. Somebody tag her, share this to her. But here's what happened. I went out and on the first try, I laid back. I knew I couldn't do it. So I trusted the rope and the boat did the work. I jumped up, I surfed around. It was a blast. Now I say that for two reasons. Number one, my wife needs to have a moment where she can remember that there was a moment in time where I was more athletic than her. Number two, it's because there was this, this experience that took place. I could not do it on my own and I knew it. And because I knew I couldn't do it, I had to put my confidence in something greater than myself. I think if you're anything like me, you're coming out of 2020 and you're going, I refuse to go back into a year like last year. All of us experienced loss in some area, whether it was emotional, spiritual, physical, relational. And if we're not careful, we're holding on so tight that we're trying to muscle through it and do the work ourselves. Friend, we cannot control our surroundings, but what we can do is have confidence in our spirituality. We can have a confidence that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think. I wanna challenge you to have your hands open, to explore what faith can look like, not what it's just been in your past, not based on your own abilities or how good you are, but maybe just maybe. Faith is trusting that God can do the work. Maybe it's having confidence in something you don't even see yet. We'll talk to you guys soon.